is Tamala Temsikubo. I'm Kanye Kubule. My name is Bandile Malinga. Our hair is very like it's very versatile. You can you can do a lot. There's like cornrows, there are locks, not this braids, you can do dreadlocks, you can have like faux locks. Hair salons, especially in South Africa, are a bit chaotic. If you are not used to a hair salon, you kind of feel like there's just a lot going on. The order is never really the order that you expected. You might be there first, but be helped fifth. But they also have a very comforting um, vibe or feeling in terms of like the community. High school is predominantly white and so we got like a lot of backlash they were called a ghetto they say our braids smell they'd be like um, all your braids are falling out all those kind of things and then as soon as a white person does it it's like oh she's different she's exotic or she's you know um, not like the other whites that's another reason why I think a lot of like white people do it so it was hard for it to be praised on a white body but then in your black body you're always being discriminated for it in nigerian boarding schools they have really strict hair rules they see hair as something that is deemed as a distraction or it's gonna make you not focus on school mostly with guys and even girls that's why if you're like you just started high school and you're in the boarding schools you just they shave everything off because they feel like you having to worry about combing it, styling it, brushing it and all that. It's just too much distractions. I actually had an interview about like a couple of months ago and had a bit of a panic because I was like, is my hair professional or not? So I had my hair backwards. In the sites that raised us to look at like whatever's Western or white, basically as professional, I've been almost um, conditioned to believe that what white people have or white people's hair is the best hair, you know, so the thin back hair. I just realized that no man, but this is my hair, you know, and yeah, I've, I think moving forward, I'm just going to keep my hair as it is because it's my hair. you do find yourself code switching in predominantly white environments and um, the firm I was working at was like a predominantly white environment and so I had it in like wigs and I braided it for the most part I had my hair out for one day but then it was like also really taxing because the people I was working with wanted to touch it and they're like oh you have different hair today and you have to explain and it's just like there's a whole lot of things you don't want to have to get into you just want to be able to work like everybody else but every single time you change up your hair it's a whole conversation and people want to put their hands in it and and these are like grown people also so you as much as I was like before I start, started working I was like oh no I will stick to having my natural hair out I'll do what I want to do with my hair because it's all professional the context of the work environment really just decided for me because I was like I would rather the conversation be on the work I'm doing here and the experience I'm having professionally than what I look like and then my hair looks different. <laughs> 